Live from WTEN, this is News 10 at Noon on the News Station. Just a short time ago, St. Peter's Hospital announced a new plan to bring a new medical campus to Saratoga County. The new facility would be built in Central Half Moon. News 10's Nicole Lally joins us live from the Half Moon Town Hall where the plan to build the new facility was just unveiled. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Christina. That's right. Just a short time ago, representatives from St. Peter's Hospital, along with Town Supervisor Mindy Warmoth and some other town representatives were here to announce those new plans to bring a medical campus to Central Half Moon. Now, today's announcement comes after more than two years of planning and discussions. The new facility would be located near Exit 9 off the North Way on an 81-acre site on Route 146. Now, right now, exactly what will be built is still up in the air, but some ideas include ambulatory care facilities, medical imaging, a sleep center, or other outpatient service centers. Now, Wormuth says bringing increased medical services closer to residents in Half Moon has been a goal of the town for a long period of time. But to have a quality hospital commit to bringing medical services here to Half Moon is just a very exciting thing for us. Our residents will be able to receive those services that they're already getting from St. Peter's and they're comfortable with the care they receive, but they'll be able to get it here locally. Now, St. Peter says the next step is a needs assessment to determine exactly what facilities will be built. They are hoping that that assessment will be completed by mid-fall. Now, also, this project needs some uh, uh, approvals before it can get underway, so we still don't have an exact date on when ground will be broken. We're live in Half Moon, Nicole Alley, News 10. Nicole, thanks. This is YNN, your evening news now. St. Peter's is expanding to meet the needs of Saratoga County. Hospital officials are announcing plans for a new campus along Route 146. There's no timetable for construction. The population increasing officials in southern Saratoga County are trying to make sure health care matches the area's needs. Our CJ Spang has details on the plans for a new medical campus in Half Moon. Officials from St. Peter's Hospital in the town of Half Moon announced their intentions to build a medical campus with up to 467,000 square feet of facilities right here along Route 146. Bringing increased medical services to our residents here in the area is a, a very exciting announcement for us. Not only does the plan include St. Peter's Hospital, but also Seton Health and Northeast Health, now that the three organizations are merging. Our effort is to try to be more patient, more resident focused, and the way you do that is to come to the residents in the, in the uh, county and in the area, and not have them come to us. This is a concrete example of something that individually, I'm not sure we would have been able to do. We might have been able to initiate it, but I don't think it would have been anywhere near as successful as I imagine this campus will be with the three of us together. This is now the third proposed health care project in recent months in Saratoga County, along with Saratoga Hospital's plan for a medical campus in Malta and Ellis Medicine's facility in Clifton Park. What exactly would be included at the Half Moon campus hasn't been determined, but officials say the project will likely require state approval. The state really is moving away from large institutional care to more community-based ambulatory care. So I think this would be consistent with where the State of New York Department of Health would like to see health care migrate to. There is no timetable for the construction of the project. However, officials hope to have all the planning finalized by this fall. Reporting in Half Moon, CJ Spang, YNN. Fox 23 News at 5. Healthcare expansion. There's a plan to turn this empty land at Half Moon into a new place for the people of Southern Saratoga County to get medical care, but it's not the only plan on the boards here. From the 10 o'clock news team, Fox 23 News at 5 starts right now. A drive through Southern Saratoga County, places like Clifton Park, Half Moon, you find just about everything you need except a hospital. Now three local hospitals are talking about expanding to that area. However, as Fox 23's Walt McClure joining us now live tells us, they are not the only games in town, right Walt? That's right John, St. Peter's has been discussing this with the town of Half Moon for a while, but they're bringing their partners Northeast Health and Seton Health to build a medical campus in the town with the purpose of basically giving hospital-like care without going to the hospital. 
This vacant land along Route 146 and Half Moon is where an 81-acre medical campus anchored by St. Peter's, Northeast Health, and Seton Health could go in order to serve the growing populations of the town and Saratoga County as a whole. It's the latest in a number of efforts to either build a hospital or something similar over the better part of the last 10 years. So to have a quality hospital commit to bringing medical services here to Half Moon is just a very exciting thing for us. Anywhere from 15 to 40 percent of the inpatient admissions to all the group's hospitals come from southern Saratoga County, and this plan would likely include outpatient surgery, imaging, physicians' offices, and other facilities often associated with hospitals. By creating a medical campus in Half Moon, we will able we we will be able to place facilities, programs, and services closer to the homes of the growing community that we already care for. But they aren't the only ones. Albany Med and Saratoga Hospital are teaming to build an enhanced urgent care facility in Malta, and Ellis Hospital has a plan working through the process to do the same thing on Sitterly Road in Clifton Park. It will be like an ER. It will look like an ER, it'll feel like an ER, and we think it'll need meet most of the needs of the community for access to emergency room level services. Bottom line, the idea is to shift care from bigger institutions to more community-based options, an idea Carol Hayner says she and some older folks like a lot. The emergency responders do such a good job and you get on board an uh, ambulance and I think they take pretty good care of you until you get to the hospital. It would be nice if it was closer, but this is something we can all live with, I'm sure. Next step in Half Moon to decide what facilities and services will be offered. That's expected to be figured out by early fall. Ellis is hoping to have its Clifton Park facility in operation by next summer. John. All right, thank you. From WNYT Albany, News Channel 13 Live at 5 begins right now. With merger plans between St. Peter's, Seton, and Northeast Health recently firmed up, the new group is now the latest health care provider with plans to set up shop in southern Saratoga County, settling on the town of Half Moon. The announcement was made this morning, but it's short on specifics. By creating a medical campus in Half Moon, we will, able, we, we will be able to place facilities, programs, and services closer to the homes of the growing community that we already care for. By this fall, a needs assessment of exactly what type of services should go into that medical campus is expected. That's the first step to shaping the project that would fill 81 acres off Route 146, about a mile and a half east of Northway Exit 9 in the town of Half Moon. What it won't be is a small hospital or freestanding emergency department. The state health department has made it clear it won't approve those types of facilities, preferring smaller, targeted outpatient treatment centers. But many of the things that we used to treat in the hospital setting are now much better treated in the outpatient setting on medical campuses. Currently, the three hospital systems, St. Peter's, Seton, and Northeast Health, have a big presence in the county with smaller urgent care centers. None are slated to close at this time. The point, say these hospital execs, like the merger of their groups, is to provide easier access to residents who already rely on their hospitals for care. Combined inpatient admissions from Southern Saratoga County to the hospitals in the merger accounted for more than 42% of the overall Southern Saratoga inpatient hospital admissions. This is more than any other single provider. It's not exactly clear what services the campus will eventually offer, but it's expected to be built in phases. What is clear is that this project is late to the game. Ellis Hospital has been approved to open an enhanced urgent care center on Sitterly Road near Northway Exit 8. It'll provide 14-hour coverage with emergency care doctors and surgeons. A similar project near Northway Exit 12 has been green-lighted for a partnership between Albany Medical Center and Saratoga Hospital. But the St. Peter's Group, citing huge huge population growth in southern Saratoga County, including a number of housing projects for empty nesters and senior citizens, say their involvement makes sense and they don't anticipate any regulatory roadblocks. I spoke with folks at Albany Med and Ellis Hospital. While Albany Med says it thinks there's plenty of need to be served by all the players, the CEO at Ellis, Jim Connolly, isn't as sure. He says it depends on what the St. Peter's project offers and he wonders if this plan is the best allocation of resources in the region. We'll keep you posted. 
This wow. is CBS 6 News, now in high definition. And new at 5.30 tonight, hospital wars are playing out in southern Saratoga County. Those who live in the area currently have to travel really quite a distance for their emergency care. But many medical institutions are rushing to set up shop, creating more options to choose from. Fact finder Randy Simon shows us why some believe too much coverage may not be what the doctor ordered. In the town of Half Moon, they're building and buying with the big picture of adding this medical campus off of 146. The big three, St. Peter's, Northeast Health, and Seton Health, who will soon merge, made the announcement Thursday with only ideas of what they'll be providing. Medical imaging, uh, perhaps surgery, ambulatory surgery, maybe a sleep center, uh, some primary care maybe some specialty care. This medical campus, which is still years away, will be competing with Ellis's new advanced urgent care clinic off of Sitterly Road in Clifton Park. CEO Jim Connolly says that's set to open next year. It'll be staffed by emergency room doctors, emergency room nurses. It'll have advanced diagnostics. It will look like and feel like and, and operate like an emergency room. So why all of a sudden is there now a turf battle within the medical community in the Clifton Park Half Moon area? Well, there's a few reasons. Number one is what's happening across the street here at this new senior housing center. Half Moon in the last 10 years has reported a 16% population growth. Not to mention a few miles down the road, you have global foundries. And also, there's real no major medical presence in this area just yet. But between the new medical campus, Ellis's extension clinic, Seton Health's urgent care on 146 that may or may not stay open, and the urgent care of Southern Saratoga on 9, there will soon be major medical presence. Some argue too much, especially with cuts to the health care field and not to mention the State Department of Health's recent denial of a freestanding emergency room for that area. You have to stop and wonder whether we really should be building all these facilities. That's, I think that's a good question, but it's one the Department of Health will have to wrestle with and decide upon. I think we'll be struggling to keep up with the demand from this area. Whatever the case, an area that was missing major medical care will soon have many options to choose from. Randy Simons, CBS 6 News. And while the kinds of services that will be provided at this medical campus will be decided in the fall, our fact finders did get some specifics on what it'll look like. It's 81 acres and it'll be located on Route 146 and Half Moon, a little more than a mile east of Route 9. 467,000 square feet of medical space will be available inside nine buildings. There will also be two five-story parking decks. And before everything gets really going, the State Department of Health is still needing to sign off on this.